Hi and welcome back. Now if you are waiting to do your fresh start when Brimstone Stands comes and waiting for the fresh start servers, I'd maybe not do that if I'm being perfectly honest because you're going to expect a high fluctuation of players joining meaning you're going to end up in queues, waiting for mobs to respawn, the nightmare to farm and it just will not be a pleasant experience for you if I'm being completely honest. If you're in a small group and you're looking to come back to the game any server after the update will have the new leveling experience but if you go to an existing server you're also going to get the benefit of having a marketplace which is fully stocked with items etc that you can use these may have queues as well and I'll go into that later because there's a bigger part to play in this where people may have to transfer servers as well to try and keep away from the fact that queue times are going to expand even in those servers now Brimson Sands has brought a lot of eyes back to the game. A lot of people who are in servers, etc., are going to probably come back, which means queue times for existing servers are also going to lift up. As you can see from this, New World have even identified this and said that players should maybe think about moving if they feel that's the case. Given that the game is going to have probably a, quite a big explosion of new players, I can see new servers opening up, which aren't going to be fresh start servers only as well just to deal with the demand. Now what normally happens is after these quiet down they'll start putting them together and just blending servers so you end up moving for free later anyway. But if you are in one of these servers, I am, I'm in day tree, you may want to start looking to go somewhere else because these servers were the original ones that were merged to condense a lot of other servers down. Meaning that they've got high population of servers, some players haven't logged in for a long time and they may come back for the update. Queue times could ruin your experience massively. Especially if you are someone who's on and off, can't commit to playing for long periods of time, you could end up spending a lot of time in the actual queue itself. Now, as I said, fresh start servers, it's completely up to you, but I think personally for your gaming experience, if you're in a a decent sized group coming back, I would go to an existing server of 100%. Don't do a fresh start server unless you're determined to do it. If you're a solo player looking to get into the game, then yes, maybe a fresh start server is for you because a lot of people will be doing the same things that you're going to be doing, but you have to bear in mind those principles of you're going to be waiting in a queue, you're going to find it hard to farm certain materials and resources, and you may have to wait for mobs to respawn quite a lot and try and get the last hits. So it could be quite an annoying experience to start with, so just bear that in mind. If you are in one of the existing servers and you are feeling the pinch of the queue, again, just like New World said, I would recommend probably that you transfer to a less populated server. Now before doing this, you want to actually check some of the websites that are available. They will show you the population of the server check the marketplaces for that server to see what things are selling for if you go to a server which is outrageously silly on prices it's not gonna be fun for you also try and look to see which companies are controlling which zones you don't want to go to a company of marauders you get there and convent completely controls the map then you're not gonna have a good time unless you're taking an entire company over there it's going to be a very brutal experience for you, massive brutal experience because you will not be able to do a lot of the things that you'd hope to do in a normal server. Try and get one that's blended across. Now to transfer servers is very simple. You may already have a transfer token if you're a returning player because they were given out free. If not, you'll have to go to the shop. From the shop, go to the transfer tab and from there you will see that you have to select the region. Now before you actually transfer, Make sure that you are in a town, you have taken all your stuff off the auction house and you're no longer part of a company. That is the only way you can do it. You can also transfer regions, honestly, unless you're in a very central between regions area. I wouldn't do this because you're going to have ping issues for a start. Or if you just really want to go and join some friends, then possibly that is an option for you. Now, you have to pay for this at the moment. But I have a little indication that if it is really bad and the queues are really bad, they may offer another free transfer just to try and satisfy people to make sure they can keep the player numbers up. That's just my guess and if I was them I'd definitely look to do something like that because you don't want to 
waste opportunity of bringing back a whole new fluctuation of players and players taking to Reddit, Twitter, etc. bashing how bad it is. I want that to go quite smoothly. Well, that would be my hopes anyway. As soon as you get to your new world, etc., make sure you join a company, do all that good stuff. All your house and everything will be where you were. All your inventory will be there. All your storages will be exactly the same. I've transferred already. There's no real bad thing about it. If you try to transfer to a world and it says this world is currently full, that means New World has already put a lock on that world because the player levels is too high as it is already. So keep that in mind as well when you're doing all your checks to make sure that the world you want to go to or you found there's a potential solution for you to go to is actually open for business. Now, another big thing for changing worlds is making sure the language in that server is prominently the language you speak. The server I was originally on, it turned into a German server, mainly populated, and getting any sort of chat going was nigh impossible because I do not speak German. So that is another thing to definitely check. Some of the web so website resources that I've given, they will be a good help because it actually indicates what the chat, etc. is. If not, you can always make a fresh account spend an hour on there just to get a feel for it, see what it's like, have a run around, see what it's like in terms of the market house, have a look at the expeditions if you can, and just see exactly what's there. I mean, the expeditions will be difficult, obviously, because you need to actually get to that area. But even if you ask in chat, just strike up a conversation, find some companies, speak to them if they're willing to speak to you, and just ask for their opinion. But don't be fooled, because they will want more people in their world as well. So make sure you do your due diligence properly, or you've wasted £11.95 on a token for no reason at all. Fresh start servers are going to be extremely busy, as I said, and it's just something that you're going to have to really think about, because if you're coming back to the game and you want to get the full experience, Sitting in a queue for up to two hours is not probably going to be the best way for you to get that experience in any way, shape or form. Now, as I said, I will be changing. I'm going through the exact process at the minute of checking servers, checking population of servers, checking all the marketplaces, etc. To make sure that we get the best server possible for us. Day 3 is a really good server. However, it is extremely busy and you can feel how laggy it gets just now because the population of players in the towns it's nigh on impossible to run through. It's at a point where even streaming on it is extremely difficult for me to do at the minute. So it's something to bear in mind massively. Now, if you change region, you have a three day cooler off period as well, so you have to bear that in mind. But just remember the value of it. You don't want to spend too much money doing this. Because as you go along, it just becomes a huge expense. So that's my quick interpretation and guide of what you should maybe think of with fresh start servers and if you have to transfer to a new server let me know what you think if you're going to be changing if you're going to be doing a fresh start server in the comments below and i'll catch you in the next one